talk of the town. You know, a lot of people, uh, he didn't really go out during Smash 4. I didn't see him travel as much. So when it came around, came to his time, I saw him, you know, getting really, really kind of ruling uh, Long Island. And now when he goes to Let's Make Moves, he definitely made, he definitely he made a move. Definitely putting himself on the map in terms of attention and showing people again. Everybody's been talking about how, what what is this good Yoshi that we keep hearing of? What, what yeah. is everybody talking about with Yoshi being solid? And Suarez and Raptor have really been letting people know, but that W on Cosmos really put a lot of attention onto the Yoshi, and I really uh, am looking forward to seeing his growth continuing beyond not just these weekly performances he's been having here at Aeon, but at other majors when he you know, actually starts to travel out down the coast or maybe even further. Yeah. It's always, it's always fun to see just hot streaks. Yo, all right, so we're bringing the action to Grand Finals now. We got Kofi sitting in winner's side. Nick C brought his way up from the loser's side. Kofi is on point with Game & Watch. Yeah. I'm actually extremely intrigued to see what in the world he's going to do because all I keep hearing from Game & Watch players, other than, like, Meister, is how much they've disliked a lot of the oh, changes yeah. that they've done to Game & Watch. Well, from what I understand, Fair is, that while well, very different from his previous Fair, still fairly usable. It could potentially two-frame. It's decent enough to extend edge guards, and it can lead into combos. It's it's yes. an odd tool, but it is a new tool. Uh -oh. oh, thank he, you, thank you so much. He really <laughs> almost got cooked. <laughs> um, you know, it's it, it's it's much different than that great credit card that you had to be able to disjoint and keep people at space from before. And I know there's a little bit difference going on uh -oh. with not just two-two, but the up smash as well. He has evened it back up though because of that quick damage you were just talking about. It's also worth noting, and I don't know if Kofi's going to put this to use in this set, but uh, Game & Watch's Down Smash is actually one of the best Berry moves in the game. It does, it berries? Yes. It down does Smash berry, yes. Berries now. Very far from yeah. Game & Watch. It's, 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 it's just hard to berries. know because just so like it, it, Game & Watch play is so few and far between. You don't see it very often. But, but Down Smash to Forward Smash should end any stock that Kofi mm -hmm. brings in, especially at percentages like this. Even you saying that annoys me. Down smash to forward smash. That's it's <laughs> crazy. Why does that? Why is that you a think, combo? You think you got aggravated watching K. Rule and Inkling get away with free berry punishes? Game and Watch ruins your career with a down smash. And by the way, down smash still does plenty of damage. So I don't think you're just getting away with a berry. Yeah. But uh. <laughs> you know, actually, it, it, there was very much Nixie blitzing his way in at the very start of this. But he is okay. Never mind. He finally <laughs> sold, he finally got rid of the stock. But Kofi's been doing a good job of really walling out Nick C's aggression so far. But now we're gonna see this the the switch to the wolf. Uh, I don't know much if Nick C has a lot of uh, experience. Uh oh. Look, Let's did you go, see Kofi's, Kofi. Did you see Kofi's face. You know what? At least now in the finals, there is five stocks to play around with. Yeah. So it, we are we're already happy enough that if you SD by accident with three stocks, it's like all right, cool, I'm still in this. Five stocks, yeah, I'm definitely still in this. Yeah. It's Smash 4. Uh-uh. Ooh. <laughs> uh, uh, Can't what? afford to do that. What, what are you talking about? The, 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 that's the eternal uh, eternal banished one. <laughs> we don't talk about that. This will be a potential hard punish, not getting the dare, though. This is a good smart counter to back off that nair, but this is definitely nair to uh, knee percentage. Not anymore. All right, so it was that tipper spacing, so I'm not entirely surprised that it killed, but it just didn't look like it would. Agreed. Like, it looked like the softest, like, tipper hit I've ever seen. And it still managed to get the kill. That knockback still relatively oh. solid. Good delay to avoid that PK Thunder as I'm well. Su I'm surprised uh, Nick isn't going for more yo-yo uh, on the side. Don't worry. He, he obliged. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> he can hear us all the way from back here. Now, that's no jump, but good air dodge to get himself off the side there. I like Nick C's actually passive play that he has with the Ness. Like he blitzes in with these other characters, and then the Ness just resets <laughs> it. <laughs> he used though. to he used to play uh, Ness before oh. Falcon, mm -hmm. oh. way back in the day. A you lot a lot of people used to be Ness fans. Uh, Ness was really I good think. at early Smash Four. People that, forget that. Wasn't oh, but that recovery that still Ness, very that much having a definitely problem. Definitely just got domed. Yeah, and even in his backup as well. You know that early SD that literally at zero from the Wolf, bringing it back even. I actually really like these two that he has going into the end here as well, both the Roy and the Falco. Can zone break both of these characters. So we're now going to see... Uh, I feel like Roy definitely in contention for one of the best sorties in, uh, in the game. Uh, seeing a lot of play in both regional and 
I, I don't know if a major is I think as time progresses yeah. and people start to taper off of playing Krom, we're going to see a lot more Roy. Uh, yeah. You know, just the inconsistent edge, uh, recovery is one thing, but the consistency of being able to go off stage and punish. No, Krom definitely could do that too. So onto the, onto the anchor for Palutena and... Can you I, guys say it right? Palutena. That's not how I say it. But it's Palutena. Palutena? No. Pale tuna. Pale tuna. The shout, out, shout out to Raisin. She is Raisin. the dancing goddess, and she is having a hard time dancing away back in on Kofi's positioning yeah. right now. Kofi's doing a good job again of zone breaking like we were talking about before. I've seen I've seen a lot of people. Uh, there's a lot of back and forth. A lot of people saying that this matchup is even. A lot of people saying that Roy kind of has a little bit of favor in this, just because of just. I'm in the even camp just because you know it, it's it's really strong edge guarding tools coming in from Palatina, but also just get being exactly me. the edge the the fact that you can't get Roy off of you easy outside of like maybe narrow out of shield is really really stress inducing, and Roy wants you to be right on top of him like that. The kill potential from Roy, very strong. I think super slept on, and we're going to be seeing a whole lot more of this character as the time progresses. Oh, yeah. So good stuff for Kofi taking the first game there. Um, it, it, Nick C does need to go through two full five-stock matches, get that reset in order to bring this back. Oh, it's not best of five? Okay. Best of three. It is best of three. Side events are still side events. Yeah. As much as we love squad strike, there is still singles that must happen yeah. as well. The show must go on. So I want to talk about something. We've been seeing all, in almost every lineup, uh, maybe not sewn. We've been seeing a Palutena. Kofi, not not rocking the not rocking the the top tier right it's, now. It's not a style of character. I actually really like it because it's so early in this game, and people love to track what is being successful. Because to be real, you want to play what's going to win. You want that money. You want those Ws at the end of the day. But the fact that you have players like Kofi who are showing, like, no, I can play all these different characters just continues to allow people to get this testing and show that there's still plenty of potential in these other characters people are just not using yet. And for what it's worth, Kofi is definitely repping a decent enough uh, level of top tier. Oh, yeah. If we check his new anchor, swapping to Greninja. Into the Green Ninja, yeah. yeah. And it's not like the Roy isn't exactly a top tier pick as well. Uh, the Falco is definitely the unique one, in my opinion. Who did Kofi, game who did Kofi swap, swap out for uh, Greninja? Wolf. Wolf. To Wolf that saw no action thanks to the side B suicide. Yeah. Uh, yes, I oh, think. speaking of uh, uh, Nixie on his tournament life. Yes, that's right. Kofi's on winner's side of Grand, mm -hmm. so this can end it right here. And we're seeing Nixie yet again going with the Captain Falcon to start off the match. Not trying to waste any time, just trying to get as much pressure and deal as much damage as he can because the other characters just haven't done nearly as much success as the Captain Falcon so far. So we definitely see uh, Nixie go. Ooh! I was going to say, Nixie's Falcon, definitely old reliable right now. Mm. Uh, we've seen, uh-oh. Oh, oh he actually Ooh. somehow walks wow. away from that alive, and Kofi's not. Uh, that, that was, Kofi. I definitely would have died today. I would like, say Kofi's not happy, but I've never seen that man not smiling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, he just sort of shrugs off whenever the game yeah. decides it's not time for him to win. He's but, doing a good job of forcing yeah. these defensive options out Whoa. of... Ooh. Nick C and catching him being a little bit aggressive Said, with the up B, but it's not going to get the kill. Touch the sky. Just barely living off that up B. But now put in a bad situation with edge guard. We've seen Kofi be really successful at the edge guard, but he's going to drop that one and allow Nick C to get back to center stage. And Nick will definitely run wild if he has center stage. He's staying alive, though, at 179. Mm -hmm. Insane percentages. Yeah. And, and you're already seeing he's hunting for the down air or the nair to get that knee. He could potentially kill him. Right, no, he actually definitely can kill him right now. If he gets that confirm into the knee, and you see the oh, stress from Kofi. Still not and enough. This man's DI is up oh, gods, go. but you can't DI that one. There's no way you're coming back from that. Finally taking the uh, point off the board. So now I would say a player like Nixie is amazing. Uh, definitely a threat in uh, New York, but do you, if you lose your anchor in this, like in your main, do you think you start to panic a little, or do you like, I've got four I think characters. he's done well of keeping his composure, except for that roll read. Kofi just obliterating that stock and going up in the lead. I was no, gonna I'm say, a lot of power time to put in some work here for him. I was going to say, just like a lot of, a lot of players who play squad strike, there's either, you know, they put their mains first. Do you think if that happens and it doesn't go as well as they wanted to and they lose their main pretty early, uh, granted, that wasn't very early. 
do you think people start to panic, or do you think it's more like I trust my other characters? I think at this le at this level of the game, like in grand finals at least, these players are confident enough with their picks where it's like, yeah. all right, I may have lost my my lead, but we could still do something with these characters. These are all characters that are, for the most part, practiced. It's oh, not yeah. like you're just picking into strong characters for the sake of the counter pick or the sake of them being good. F tilt. Yeah, such a strong lingering hitbox, and it, yeah. it can also kill finally in this game. Yeah. To quote, to quote uh, Ajax, literally last Orion, when someone told, said uh, Palutena F tilt, he went, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> You've been holding on to that for years, haven't you? That was you? funny. That <laughs> was for, so for a funny. whole year holding on to that one to that me. That was so funny. Luckily, somebody heard me at Nintendo's offices and made that move good. Oh, yeah, definitely. Thank you for that one. You're welcome. I, You're owe, welcome. You, I owe you, what, 10 bucks for that? <laughs> I mean, hey, I'll take it. You know, if you guys trying to don't owe me 10 bucks for uh, Boss to Palu, sure. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> that was crazy! Yo, yo, somebody start providing the donation money to Kofi right now for this tournament because this is definitely... Say, I was going to say donate the money to Nixie's funeral. Uh -huh. Oh, my God. You know, And now Nixie. he's stuck in a spot where he... Honestly, yeah. this is really what he would not want, having Isabel against the disjointed hitbox and also the potential aggression of the Greninja. Yeah. This is really looking rough for Nick right now. We saw we saw Nixie put a lot of the uh, spot strike players to bed pretty, pretty handily, but now just kind of getting a bit run over just by the Marth, just by the sorties. The tipper. Yeah, not, like not a bit run over. Kofi wanted to end that and be yeah. done and over with so he can progress to move on with singles. Congratulations to Kofi winning Orion's squad strike. Long Island defending the turf. All right. I, honestly, I, like I said earlier, Kofi was my pick to win squad strike because he plays squad strike every time he's in singles, basically. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, yeah, he, he does. just plays a litany of characters constantly. He always has at least like seven or eight at the ready. So this is a game mood that it's like tailor made for someone like him to be successful. Mm -hmm. So we can talk about the Greninja doing as much work as the Wolf. You know, yeah. yeah he swapped. He swapped <laughs> it out just for show. It was just. It was all for. It's all for the. You know, to tease the fans. It, it was definitely something that he didn't need at the end because the Marth and the Roy put in so much work. They just completely stopped anything Nick wanted to get going.